What's going on, everyone? When it comes to Kyrie Irving, I am one of those people that believe Kyrie Irving to the Lakers is a matter of when, not if. Now, whether he's traded this year or not, we will find out, but I think eventually he will make his way to the Lakers, uh, whether it's in free agency next season or uh, ultimately the Nets decide to trade him. Obviously, they're still waiting for what is going on with Kevin Durant, and they're still waiting to see what that return is and if it's something that they want to explore with the Kyrie Irving trade. Now, when it comes to Kyrie Irving, though, I get a lot of comments and, you know, people just asking questions in general about Kyrie Irving and things that they see, right? Like Kyrie Irving doing the charity event. The Brooklyn Nets team is there. You know, the Nets posting videos and images of Kyrie Irving. Uh, on top of that, you know, you have things that like Kyrie Irving's at the training facility. Kyrie Irving's, you know, practicing in the gyms and things like that. So people want to know, like, if all of this is going on, then why would he go to the Lakers, right? You hear the reports, Kyrie Irving is happy and in a comfortable place. And you know, and you see the agent coming out and saying, like, Kyrie doesn't hate everybody, even though that whole that whole interview was just a total joke. It was the agent that came out and was saying stuff. And then my favorite part was when they were like, How do you feel? Do you does Kyrie Irving agree with Kevin Durant that Steve Nash and Sean Mark should be fired? And the agent says, no comment. Like, that's always the best way to show that you support your team. And you're in the back of, you're, you're in the back with everybody just hanging out. Uh, it's just, it, there's these things that we have seen that have developed that I just think are very comical. But the reason I'm making this video and the whole point is that at the end of the day, Kyrie Irving is a net. And until he leaves the nets, whether free agency next season or he's traded this season, He's going to operate as such, right? Because who knows what's going to happen. Now, he is an NBA player. He needs to train and exercise and get up shots and do this, that, and the other to prepare for the upcoming season, uh, whether he's on the Nets or he goes to the Lakers. And because he's a Net, the place that he can go to train and do all that stuff is the Nets facility, right? So, his the the trainers the medicine the the gyms the the weight rooms everything you need he gets access to for free at these Brooklyn Net facilities so of course he's going to be in the gyms shooting up shots working on his game uh you know training with the players that are on the team because they're NBA players that are part of this league that are all talented in and of themselves so why wouldn't you utilize them and train with him? And at this point, he's still a net, but he's not hanging out. Like we see all the pictures and things that they're posting of like all of the teammates hanging out together and you never see Kyrie. You never see KD in any of those photos, any of those promotional items. Uh, the charity event, it was, uh, you know, an hour away from Brooklyn, from the stadium that they all play that. Of course they were all there because it's a lot of Brooklyn Nets fans. So all the Nets players, you didn't see any images of Kyrie hanging out with the players and taking pictures. Like you saw Kyrie taking pictures and hanging out with fans and, and people that were part of the program, things like that. Like he couldn't have taken, you know, 10 minutes to go say hi to his teammates and stuff. And now maybe he did. I wasn't there at the charity event, but you didn't see any promotions. You didn't see any advertising. Uh, also, the stuff that you see on the nets, uh, like Instagram and stuff, they're promo items, but it's not even the Brooklyn Nets promo items. Like the the big video that people were pointing at as like, oh, see, look, Kyrie's staying there. It was an NBA handles uh, little video. And the, the Brooklyn Nets were just tagged in it and had to share it because it's part of the NBA. And any promotional videos currently by the NBA or any other you know associations or brand deals or anything, are all going to be associated with the Brooklyn Nets because Kyrie Irving is still a Brooklyn Net. As long as he is a Brooklyn Net, that is how it's going to operate as such. There has been nothing that shows either way, really, that he's going to leave or he's going to stay. All the reports are even conflicting, uh, and it's just it's it's impossible to know what is really going on with Kyrie Irving and what is going on with his head. But until things unfold... He's going to operate. Like, he might have told Joe Sy, like, hey, I want gone, I want out, like, I'm done, you know, but he's got to wait on Kevin Durant for to see what they're going to do. And until then, like, he's not just going to sit at home all day and do nothing. Now, will he play during the season? Will he report to training camp? Stuff like that. Who knows? 
but he, uh, up until this point, has to continue to train and condition and get his mind and body and everything right. Because what if he does go to the Lakers? He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to sabotage that. You know, he still wants a max contract. He still needs to be in condition and in game shape. And he's also a basketball player. You know, I, I don't believe basketball is the highest thing on his totem pole, but I do think it's important to him. I do think it's an escape for him. I do think it's something that he's passionate and loves and genuinely, you know, enjoys doing. Um, so he can't just show up to the Lakers and him and LeBron James just pull up together and just start shooting in the in the Lakers stadium. I mean, yeah, he could go to other gyms. He can go to other courts, which he has, right? He's gone to training facilities and stuff like that. He hasn't done a ton of stuff. Like, he's still not on any of the promo items or anything for the Brooklyn Nets. Like, the only, the time that they made, that they posted the images was, like, when the Kevin Durant meeting was coming up. And since then, we haven't really gotten much other than, like, a couple, like, NBA promotional items, not net promotion items, NBA promotion items of Kyrie Irving. And again, Brooklyn, they have to post that stuff because it's an NBA related thing. You know, if it was like me who just made a appreciation Kyrie Irving handles video and they posted it, okay, that could be a little different. But I just, again, I, I wanted to make this video to kind of just clarify some things for people and kind of, because like I said, I get asked in the comment sections or when I do the live streams, people will say, well, what about this with Kyrie Irving? What about that with Kyrie Irving? And look, like I said, it could all just be complete nonsense. Maybe he does stay with Brooklyn for this year. I just don't think it adds up. You know, even if they do keep Kevin Durant, I don't, I mean, the, we see the reports that KD is serious and he wants to leave. And if he doesn't get traded by training camp, which is still about a month away, but it says that he's not going to show up to training camp. Like if they don't do that. Now, will he actually do that? Who knows? I mean, we'll see. But I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that he just says, you know what? I told you to trade me. You didn't want to trade me. Yeah, you, you asked me again. I told you again. You haven't fired Nash. You haven't fired Sean Marks. I don't need to play for you. You know, and and especially nowadays, all it takes is like, you know, he gets a doctor's note that says he has a hamstring injury. Maybe he shows up to the first day at training camp and he all of a sudden has a hamstring injury and now he doesn't have to play for six months. Like, you know, it's like, it's just, why go through the headache? And then Kyrie is the same boat. You know, like all of the reports that come out that are like, Kyrie loves Brooklyn and he wants to stay in Brooklyn and this, that, and the other. We haven't heard it. Why hasn't Kyrie came out and said that? Why hasn't Kyrie said, hey, I'm staying in Brooklyn. I want to ride with Brooklyn for the year. Like, this is my team. This is what we're doing this year. We'll see what happens next year. You know? No, you haven't gotten anything like that. All of the reports that he's happy and whatever, they're all anonymous reports. They're all, like, you know, from the New York Post, and they're all just, you know, oh, like, this unnamed person said that this about Kyrie Irving. But all the reports about him wanting to leave are all not anonymous sources. It's like you know, reputable people that are coming out saying like, hey, Kyrie's camp told us this, you know, like this wasn't like some anonymous person that's part of the Nets that said something, you know, this is like, no, like his, you know, somebody that's in his circle, his inner circle, this person says Kyrie wants to go to Lakers, you know, Kyrie's camp was telling teams, hey, if you, if you try to trade for me, I'm just going to leave and I'm going to go to the Lakers next year. So don't trade for me. And basically scared everyone away so he could go play with LeBron and the Lakers. Uh, now, do the Nets play hardball and do they keep him? Possibly, but why? Like, what would be the point? What would be the value in that? If they lose Kyrie, they literally lose him for nothing. They have no money to go and get somebody to replace him. Do you really want that locker room headache and that mess? Especially if Kevin Durant isn't showing up and Kevin Durant you know, is causing mayhem. You don't even know what's going to happen with Ben Simmons. Does Ben Simmons even play this year? And so, like, is Kyrie really going to be a model citizen when everybody, when the two players that he's counting on the most, and it just, it just, I just see it being an absolute disaster. And I don't think the Nets see it as anything but an absolute disaster. I just think Kyrie's going to the Lakers. But we're seeing things, of course, of him and ties to the Nets. 
But it's not stuff that shows that he's staying with the Nets. It's stuff that, like I said, him training in a facility that he has access to that is free, that he can go to whenever he wants because he's part of that organization currently. You know, he's doing a charity event. It wasn't a Brooklyn Nets charity. It was his charity event, you know, and, and the players showed up because it was down the street. All of this stuff, you know, I, I just think ultimately Kyrie Irving, I think he just, I, I don't know, maybe he does want to be there, a part of him. I mean, he is somebody from Brooklyn, grew up in Brooklyn. That was the whole point going to Brooklyn. I just don't think he likes the organization. And the one opportunity that he had to clear up and clarify and actually like put all of this stuff to bed, he did the opposite, you know, like, or he didn't even, he didn't even show up. It was his agent that showed up. His agent doesn't say that he, that he, no, he's standing by the nets and he's, no, he stuck up, he essentially stuck up for Kevin Durant. He had, he had, they gave him an easy layup or the agent, an easy layup. Does 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 he still feel the same way about Steve Nash and Sean Marks? Does he want him? Does he want them fired as well? And all he had to say was, "No, this is my organization. This is my team. You know, I'm sticking around. Whatever." Or just, "No, I don't feel that way." Or whatever. Nothing. They said no comment, <laughs> and and that was it. And he didn't even clarify, or the agent didn't even clarify. Uh, she didn't even clarify that like. He, he all the all that was stressed was that he doesn't hate anybody. The issue isn't that he hates people. No one cares if he hates people. It's how does he feel about the Nets and the situation, and is he staying or is he going? And does he want these people fired? Yes or no? It was a simple question, and they didn't answer the question. They just said, "Oh, you know, he doesn't hate anybody. He's all about peace and love, and you know, and just acceptance. And you know, hate is hate is not a, is not the right word." Okay, so he really, 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 really doesn't like them. Is that what we're gathering? You know, like that, that's what that was. That's what that interview was, was them saying, yeah, Kyrie hates the Nets and the organization, but he doesn't hate them. You know, he doesn't like hate is the wrong word. You people are throwing out hate. No, he just, he doesn't hate them. He just really, really doesn't like them. That's all it is. But Anyway, just wanted to bring this up, wanted to have this conversation, wanted to have this discussion. Uh, so, you know, again, like, don't be surprised if you see Kyrie Irving at the Brooklyn Nets facility working out and training and stuff. Like, you know, we haven't seen anything of it, like, but it's something that could happen. You know, you could see him shooting in the gym and, you know, working at the training facility and maybe get a report about that. I mean, everybody's doing all this stuff. He's, you know, he's he was shooting, handing out with teammates. He's working with Russell Westbrook and other places. It's just he hasn't done anything to show Brooklyn is the place he wants to be. That's the thing. And I'm not saying that he's that means he's going somewhere. Doesn't mean that he's going to be traded because you know Brooklyn could say no. But all of these like New York Post posts and reports are all saying Kyrie Irving like. He's in a great place with Brooklyn. That's his spot. That's where he wants to stay with or without Kevin Durant. And it's like, how come he hasn't shown one small bit of that being a reality? Because actions speak louder than words. His actions show the complete opposite of what this anonymous source that doesn't want to be named is saying. Just think it's a little weird. But again, however you feel about it, love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, follow by the bell notification, stay up to date with all things sports, join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.